this is a day we reflect on the death of the suffering and death of Jesus Christ. Because he died for our sins on this cross. Why? We should reflect. We have been repenting, reflecting for the 40 days under land. Why do we go back to sin? We as politicians, most of the opposition, we should reflect on our desire and the intentions of seeing how we remove this tyrant government, a dictatorial government. So why do we continue conflicting against each other? Let us reflect on the death of Jesus Christ on the cross so we come back and fight for what he meant us to fight for the redemption of people. Today's reflection is about loving God and love yourself, you love your neighbor as you love yourself. So we encourage us leaders that we should love ourselves, that friendship could become love within ourselves so that we go away from these wrangles here and there that have entangled our parties from within. I also pray for my comrade, Honorable Segirinya, whose life is in danger so that he could be healed and come back to normal life. As of every person who is in the prisons over political matters should also be released. We pray for him, for, for, for them, for their, for, for their freedoms. I was so much impressed with the theme and our, 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 our spiritual fathers selected. That is the theme which says you shall love the Lord, your God, and your neighbors yourself. It is very, very hard to love your God because as well or no, if you remember our catechism very well and we remember the CLA, God is a, a non-living thing. God is a spiritual. Now you can't say you love a spiritual being than loving a fellow human being you see, whom you live with, whom you dwell with, whom you pray with, whom you chat with, whom you cry with. So my, my appeal today is simple. Let's portray the same love. Let's manifest the same th the thinking, what is written here, in the same spirit we should live 